Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to rent a car in UK. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you rent a car in UK? Well, renting a car is actually pretty easy, but there's a few things they need to remember here and to take in consideration first. So first things first is you need to check if your license allows you to drive in the UK. So for example, if you're, if you, for example, you have an Australian um, driver's license, then most likely you are, or they will actually permit you to drive using that specific license in the UK. But again, there are going to be some limitations like for example you can only use it for one year so after the one year mark has passed you need to get a uk driver's license for you to continue driving within the country but then again if you have uh, those uh if you're just saying for a, a short well well and and if you actually you've actually checked it that your um driver's license actually allows you to drive to a specific country on a specific day well in this case you can go and start using it but then again if you're going to drive on over a very long time it is i suggested that you see uh the um limitations on it and if you uh, need to get a uk uh, driver's license if you're going to stay for a few years but in this case how do we drive or how do we rent a car in the uk so we could actually use the booking.com website which in this case is going to be uh, booking.com slash regions uh, slash uh, gb slash england at en dash gb dash html so in this case it's going to see car hire in england so in this page, you should be able to see or basically indicate the pickup location for the uh, car rental. We also have the pickup date, the time, and the drop-off date. So when it's going to uh, the end, it's going to end. The rental is going to end. So you have the time here as well. So once you provide all the details here and specify if the driver is aged between 30 to 65, you can go and click on search. And from here, you should be able to view different deals for car rentals. So there's going to be a lot of car rentals here. You could even filter them into small cars, medium cars, SUVs, or premium cars. So in this case, you can go and just choose whatever you want here. For example, we want to view this one. Let's go and click on view deal. Now, from here, you should be able to see different details about a car. So how many seats, if it's actually uh, manual or automatic, how many bags it actually fits, and the miles per rental in here. Now, in this case, you could also view in for information here if you want to click on it and view it. So you also have uh, saw the payment methods, the damage access here. So make sure to check and read all the information that you see in this page here so that you'll be aware on some charges that you might incur if something happens. So in this case, uh, we could go ahead and include extras here if you want to, like additional driver. You also have the baby seat option here if you have a child with you. But once you're sure or once you've added all the extras, you can go and click on continue to book. And you now need to choose your protection. So you could basically get the no protection option here or the full protection. So just in case something actually happens. So for example, I'm going to get the full protection. Let's go and click on go to book. And from here, we just need to provide our details. So also make sure that the details that you'll be providing here actually matches your legal details as same or actually that actually matches your driver's license. So that includes your first name, last name, contact numbers, country of residence, your email address, and even your billing address and your payment method here. Now, you should also read the terms of service, policy terms, and uh, the rental terms here as well. So once you provide all the details, just click on book now to proceed with your booking or car rental and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.